Howdy everybody, Argon Matrix here. Welcome to episode 80 of the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're doing a challenge today. The last couple have been pretty uh, pretty quick. This one I don't think is going to be so much. And I think I'm about to get some uh, some major run whiplash after that crown of light run I just had. This is Waka Waka. Probably one of the hardest challenges from uh, Rebirth. KKYXBX81. We start with Anti-Grav and Strange Attractor. And that's basically it, which means our tiers are like this. So we leave them like a trail like this, kind of, and it's like, it's called Waka Waka because we were doing like a reverse like Pac-Man type thing, leaving the power pellets out here. But enemies will be drawn in towards them. So enemies will be like drawn towards us because our tiers spawn on top of us, making this a pretty ridiculous challenge, honestly. I don't remember if I get to treasure room items on this on this run I would imagine not it looks like it only goes to uh, to mom here though so maybe it won't be that bad I'm gonna quickly explore this floor just on the off chance that I do get a treasure room uh, we do not okay so yeah so they're dicks about this challenge in basically every every way and I would say yeah I would say this is probably one of the hardest ones in rebirth not, uh, they did add some pretty insane stuff in Afterbirth and Afterbirth Plus, though, so that will, uh, compared to some of those challenges, this one will not honestly be too bad. And as long as you play your cards right and stay decently far from enemies, uh, before trying to get any shots off, you can, uh, ooh, okay, that was bad. Got a little boxed in there, but that's okay. You can uh, subvert most damage that you would otherwise take. On your first couple tries of this challenge, you're probably not gonna, because I know it took me it, it took me a good couple tries to get this on my first uh, first time doing it. But on your first couple tries, yeah, you're probably gonna t just take some time getting used to the way you have to shoot your tears in order to make it uh, work out here. But once you get used to the mechanics of it, you're not gonna. It's not that bad, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. Or maybe I'm just saying that because it is that bad, and I just I just need something to help alleviate the stress that I have. Because we're doing fairly well in terms of the challenges that we've done so far in the game. Like, our, our winning streak right now, we're like a, the highest we've gone is like 8, I think, in terms of our winning streak. Uh, Super Range is actually really great. However... Our challenge win streak, if you're if you're keeping up with that, because the win the challenge wins don't actually count towards any kind of streak, but the amount of challenges we won in a row, we're up to like 16 right now, I think. Because and this is challenge 17. Actually, we did skip one challenge, so we might be at like 15. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is we have not lost any of the challenges yet. We've beaten them all on our first try. Some we've come very close to losing, like a uh, like I remember some Suicide King nonsense. I think uh, Highbrow was also a little scary towards the end of it. And I think this is going to fall in the camp of those challenges where it's going to get scary from time to time. Unless we get some like ridiculously good items from our uh, deal with the devil and bosses. Which is just about the only place we're going to get items unless we can get enough money to make our shops work. But uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting run, that's for sure. It's not going to be like a con computer savvy type run where uh, where you get brimstone early on and just pop pop off instantly and to, like finish in like 12 minutes. No, no, no. You can bet your ass it's not going to be anything close to that. If I do get Brimstone early on, I mean, that's going to make a huge difference. But even that is not uh, not the be-all, end-all of Waka Waka. Because, I, I don't know, in my opinion, Brimstone plus Anti-Grav is not a very good combination at all. It's better than having just Anti-Grav, but it's not better than having just Brimstone. That's what I would say about that. Uh, okay, that was a little scary, but I think I handled that about as uh, well as could be expected for the circumstance here. As long as I can avoid taking any more damage on this room, I'll be happy with it. Ooh, it's debatable. <laughs> That's a little scary, though. The mull booms are uh, just a little terrifying, honestly. Get rid of this TNT. It's freaking me out, man. It's freaking me out, dude. Whoa, dude, radical. My name's Funky Kong. My name's Pac-Man, a waka waka ding dong. What's Pac-Man doing nowadays, man? It, like, what's what's he been in lately? Like anything? He he's in uh he's in Super Smash Bros. That's maybe the most relevant thing he's been in as of uh, as of late. I don't I don't know if there's been any 
recent games in like the Pac-Man World series or whatever it is. I think that like Pac-Man World 2 for the GameCube. I remember like renting that game as a kid and playing the hell out of it. That was a fun time. I don't think I ever beat it or anything because it was because uh, I was a kid and I only rented it, so I didn't have much time with it anyway. And as a kid, my gaming senses weren't fully uh, fully tuned as weren't as fully tuned as they are right now. So most of the games that I played, I don't think I ever even beat. Regardless. Okay, we got a golden key in there if we really uh, are interested in that. I'm not super interested in it because I don't have any real need to use any keys on this run. I probably should be uh, hunting down secret rooms in all honesty. Just because that is one of the few avenues that I can actually get some, some items out of. It's not likely. Secret room items are pretty, uh, pretty rare, I think. But it is possible. What would I hope to really get out of a secret room item? I don't know. There's things. There are some good stuff in there, like Black Lotus, uh, Raw Liver, any HP boosting items like that. I don't know if there's any super good offensive items. Uh, Transcendence would be good. Just uh, any passive ability to fly is always is always pretty pretty sweet. Unfortunately, we can't pull these consumables over the rocks with our uh, strange attractor tears. That would be pretty uh, pretty broken if that was possible, but. I'm going to head back really quick and just have a look-see for, uh, for a secret room, maybe. Use a quick couple bombs, and, uh, and if nothing pops up, then at least we can rest our head high knowing that we tried, right? I'm going to try here. Nope. And let's, let's take one more crack at it right down here. Alright, well, that was, uh, that was a very lovely use of bombs, I would say. Man, I'm going to come across, like, some stone chest and not going to have the bombs necessary for it. That's what I guess I suppose. I probably could have paid a little more attention to the layout of the rooms than seeing about uh, making a secret room work better, but that's alright. Probably didn't miss out on too much regardless. Thankfully the troll bombs are not drawn towards the uh, towards the strange attractor tiers. That I can uh, at least be safe in. Uh, these smoke balls though I can't say the same for. They suck fucking ass. The the good thing about Strange Attractor, I can say, the Halo is also very nice, uh, is that it does make our shots a lot more likely to hit enemies. So that is good. I will take a Gimpy here for the deal with the double precedent, as well as uh, I'm probably pretty likely to get hit over the course of this run, so if Gimpy can pay out a couple times and make some of those hits uh, not as bad as they otherwise would be, I'll be very happy. I'll be a very happy camper. Yeah, so Anti-Grav and uh, Strange Attractor here. It's honestly, like, not the worst combination of items that you could that you could ever hope to have in uh, in Isaac. Not even prob probably, like, the worst in any given challenge. Like, I think, honestly, Suicide King, the combination of items there is less uh, usable than this combination is. It's just that Suicide King, uh, the fact that you start with Ipecac, and I Ipecac is so strong that it uh, kind of gets a pass on that because, like, Ibikak can be a run winner all on its own most of the time, regardless of if you have uh, my reflection or not. As long as you play somewhat smartly with it, you'll be okay. With this, if you don't get some good items right off the bat, which we've luckily got quite a few good items to keep us alive here, Super Bandage and uh, the Halo and things like that. Gimpy as well now. But if you don't get lucky enough to get that, then you can have uh, you can run into some problems problems pretty easily because this, these items on their own are not good enough to uh, to keep you strong and take you even to mom on their own really. You need some uh, some better stuff going on. How strong is this run right now for me? It's uh it's getting up there. I think we still need some uh, some good items to really make this run want to pop, but you know. We still have the potential to make that work. And if this is the best it gets, then I will try my damnedest, and uh, and we'll see where we go. Alright, this this guy's getting on my nerves, though. Uh, range upgrade is pretty pretty meaningless for us. Because most enemies are going to be drawn into our range regardless of how short our range is. At any rate. Uh, I'd like to check out that boss trap room if given the opportunity. I mean, I don't really want the opportunity, though, because that would mean I am get, get down to uh, 
a pretty low point in terms of my HP. My god. Yeah, bomb flies, by the way, you may, be, you may be seeing it in this room here. Bomb flies are some of the worst enemies you can encounter with this combination, because normally they're so predictable. But with this, it's like you got these fucking... They all of a sudden get thrown into these wacky orbits, and like it's near impossible to uh, be able to consistently dodge them. Uh, why did I go here? <laughs> that was dumb. I thought... I don't know. I was just looking at it, and I wasn't really paying attention. Whatevs, dude. Okay. Hi. <laughs> he really wanted a hug, apparently. Uh, thank you for that, Gimpy. Yeah, see, if I can get a couple payouts like that, I will be very uh, happy in my in my choice to take Gimpy. Yeah, rooms like this as well, where you just have, like, so little room to maneuver, they are kind of the bane of your of your existence on Waka Waka as well. The, the really good thing about Waka Waka, though, is that when you do beat it, the item that you unlock for it, if I remember right, is really... It, it is worth it, I will say that much. It's worth going through the pain of the Waka Waka challenge to get it all done. Bombs are key is meaningless for us right now. More, more enemies like this are fine, actually. More like host-type enemies, because they cannot be drawn towards me. They're trying to. They're really, like, wiggling in place, and, and they want to be drawn towards me, but... They are not. There we go. I will also say that uh, that Waka Waka does start you off with a pretty good tier rate, thanks to Antigrab being a pretty significant tiers up. I don't know. I don't know if Strange Attractor is any other sort of stats up, or if it's just like the effects as advertised on the tin. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of a stat up that you get for Strange Attractor. I don't think it's like a damage upgrade or anything, judging by the damage that, that I have right now. I think I'm mostly getting that from the Halo. I don't want Broken Remote, because that'll teleport me when I get hit, and that's about the last thing I want in, in this challenge. I like things that proc when I get hit, don't get me wrong. On a challenge like this, they can be pretty good, but not necessarily that. Gimpy is, uh, is more in line with what I'm looking for. Gimpy and, like, a, a Thame, maybe. Bloodlust would be fine. Bloodlust or Bloody Lust, I can never remember. I think it's Bloody Lust, actually. I'm getting to that point where I'm starting to, uh... be concerned about my HP, though, for sure. Especially because I'm about to lose the last of my Spirit Hearts. Uh, so my deal with the Devil is not going to be as insured insured at all, really. But for now, we're doing okay. As long as we keep our wits about us, we should be fine. Okay, that's not good. I mean, there's also this method where you just tap the button and tap shoot so that anti-grab is kind of offset and you're mostly only dealing with strange attractor, but I don't think that's quite as fun. It's not necessarily in the spirit of the challenge. Uh, broken watch would be nice, but, I mean, am I liable to get 15 cents over the course of the rest of this floor? I would say probably not. Maybe that's just conjecture on my part. We could run into a wayward super greed or something. But I would probably be lamenting that more than it'd be thanking it for, uh, for giving me some money. We got here. We got this. Uh, I'll play it a little bit. Just, yeah, for exact for exactly that purpose. To maybe get a spirit heart out of it. I'm playing it wrong, give you the controller. Hey, why don't you fart right off? Thankfully the portals cannot be drawn into us either. That would be uh that would be a little insane. If the portals could be drawn on top of you and then you all of a sudden just have enemies spawning on your face. It's like, well, this is this seems fair, right? There we go. Head into the boss fight here. The Fallen, ugh. Good and bad, because we're, we're liable to get a pretty decent item from beating the Fallen. However, beating the Fallen on its own is a, uh, is kind of a nightmare at the best of times. And we are certainly not in the best of times right now. It's not necessarily the worst of times either, but... Okay, is, they're, they're doing... Nice with not charging me down, at the very least. Well, speak of the devil. Oh, they decided to both charge me down at the same time, huh? That's real nice of them. You guys want to give me, like, uh, some HP boosting items somehow? I know most deal with the devil items aren't like that, but... 
if you can make up for some of the damage. Oh lordy, this is not good. Okay, okay. We got Guppy's Collar. That's pretty all right. We'll take this, then we'll go back for some of the uh, the red hearts that we've gotten out of Gimpy here. Man, that was a bad fight. I'll be the first to admit that. I don't know if I, if I necessarily should have expected it to go any differently, but uh, there it is. This is the other good thing about Gimpy, though, is that if you can make it, uh, if you can have Gimpy and still have a ton of red hearts as well, the red hearts that Gimpy drops very frequently will be uh, will be handy. I suppose Gimpy itself doesn't drop them. Gimpy is more responsible for the spirit hearts, but it makes enemies more likely to drop red hearts. I think is the uh, is the idea there. Anyway, moving on down. Is this the uh, depths one we're going to? It most certainly is. Yes, indeed, you certainly may. I'll take two. What was that, man? I always want to go off on song tirades, but then I'm just like so bad because, like, for some reason, in the moment, I can never remember the lyrics to any of the songs. I wanted to sing like "In the Drive Through" by uh, or "Stuck in the Drive Through" by Weird Al, because that's just that's just so good, man. Such a good song. But for some reason, it's just it's just not coming to me. Okay. Uh, damn it, you piece of shit. You ruined my deal with the devil chance. I was hoping that you wouldn't, that you wouldn't do, I, that's why I wasn't shooting, so that you wouldn't be drawn towards me. Then you just decide to wander your brain-ass, brainy face into my, whatever, dog. <laughs> oh, it's fine, it's fine. Would I even really necessarily want to trade my HP away for a deal with the devil? It's debatable. It really is. It depends on what the deal with the devil actually would have been. And I shouldn't be too dismissive just yet, because we still have a chance to get one. Especially if we can blow up a shopkeeper at some point on this uh, floor, then it'll increase our odds by 10%. So, provided we don't get hit on the boss fight itself, we'll have a pretty okay chance to deal with the devil. Roughly 50%, so. Ooh, that could be nice as well. However... Beating this room is going to be a bit hellish. Uh-huh. Okay, can those portals fucking think... Okay, one's despawned now. Hey. Oh, God. How am I doing this? Well, honestly, not entirely sure what kind of voodoo fucking ritual I did in a previous life to make it so I only got through this room, or that I only took one point of damage on that room. That was a little stupid. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Uh, I'm gonna leave all the money on the ground, I think. Pop that open. Head to the keeper. Yeah, I'll definitely leave all the money now, because I probably am not liable to need it. There we go. That's the kind of stuff I was looking for was the uh, hearts and things. Explosive diarrhea. No, and thank you. There we go. I think that might have re-rolled the other consumables on the floor as well. Um, doesn't look like I got anything too worthwhile out of it there. I think there might be a chest over there now that was not previously there, but it's okay. Yeah, thankfully these guys are actually, if the, like I know there was one in the previous room and it was kind of kind of hellish fighting him, but these guys, most of the time, it's only them on the room with the walk-a-walk -walk challenges, not that bad because they walk right into your, uh, they walk a walk out right into your tears. And also the knights, the uh, the guys with the stone stone faces, they're pretty hard countered by this combination as well because uh, you don't need to shoot them from behind to hit them anymore because they'll like get drawn into the things and then it'll hit them from behind all on its own. It's weird how it works, but it does work. I promise you that. For right now, I just need to focus on. God damn. Okay, maybe stop firing. Maybe stop firing. That's kind of the. Uh... Ooh, okay, well get me get get me out of here. God, that was that was a shitty ass room, man. No pun intended, but really. All right, pick that up. Gimpy is really uh, pulling it out right now, though. Really keeping us afloat here. I'd be more than happy to find my shop as well on this floor, so I will go exploring for that really quick. Um. 
balls of steel. Actually, you know what? Fight the boss first before, because now that I have balls of steel, that'll hopefully uh, net me a better chance to deal with the devil. I, I, I suppose I should have gone to maybe find the shop so I could blow up the shopkeeper and get a good chance to deal with the devil. But too little too late. Hindsight's 20 fucking 20, man. It's okay. Sister V's are uh, kind of a nightmare, too. And they're one of the things that I've never experienced on the Waka Waka Challenge before because obviously they're added in Afterbirth Plus. So the odds of... So I've never, uh... Never even considered this the possibilities of this fight. And let me tell you, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of how uh, Waka Waka makes this fight a living hell. Especially because I have, like, no damage right now. I have some damage. I shouldn't be too uh, dismissive of that. I did get the Halo early on, but that's kind of it. And the Halo is not the greatest uh, damage upgrade. I don't know what stat the Halo is the best in. I think maybe tiers. Although, maybe maybe not, because I'm not at the tier cap, which with Anti-Grav and the Halo, if it was a really good tiers upgrade, I probably would have been. Thank you for destroying your own little minions there. That saves me, uh, saves me some trouble. Watch out for that. Just tap shoot a little bit here. Try not to draw them uh, too into me. I'm hitting a fucking rock. That's why nothing was happening there. Okay, at least at least that one's stuck in the corner. No one puts Sister V's in the corner. Oh shit! Get away from that. <laughs> that was a bad time. And there we go. Okay, deal with the devil. We did get one. Okay, we also got a little Steven for all that's worth. And in here, we got Rotten Baby. Do I think Rotten Baby is worth it? I think trading 1 HP for Rotten Baby will be fine. We still have 4 hearts that we can replenish with, uh, with Gimpy and stuff. Not to mention those black hearts now are pretty uh, pretty solid too. There's our shop, ideally. Could be a library, I suppose, which not would not be that bad either. Also, even if I had made it to Boss Rush, by the way, by some uh, strange miracle, I probably would not have uh, would not have been endeavoring to do Boss Rush. It's one of those funny things you can do on a challenge, like, her her, look at how random I am, guys. I'm doing Boss Rush on this challenge. But, you know, it's really not a good idea on a challenge like this. So I got the map. I would also not mind picking up Spider Mod if I can. Uh, let me see if I can find just a single penny here to make that work. And booyah. Alright, so the treasure map should make uh, the next floor just a little bit easier here. Just wanted to see where that money was. I'm going to bomb these skulls as well, some of them anyway, to maybe get some uh, cards or something out of this. The world, that's actually pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, okay. I'll save the rest of my bombs for, uh, for the next floor, I think, except for this. Okay, well. F-U-2 game. Etsu, Isaac. Okay. Well, this is the last floor of uh, of the Waka Waka challenge. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I could head up towards the shop, but... Oops, sorry, I tapped my microphone there. Probably didn't sound too good on the recording, but uh, it's okay. So, all in all, I think I'm in a decent spot. I really need to preserve this HP for the uh, for the mom fight, though. That much is certain. So, avoid as much dumb damage as you can here. Rooms like this are scary, but not the end of the world. Okay, you charge right into it. There we go. Check out the secret room here on the off chance that we get something. Okay, well, that was, that was bad, but it's fine. Uh, nothing really worth it here. I could bomb these guys for a little bit of money maybe and also for uh, deal with the devil increased odds but getting a deal with the devil on this floor is kind of pointless anyway so because it is the last floor of the game or of this challenge anyway in theory there is a the slight chance that we would go down to the womb on this uh, run as well not by a uh, not, not on purpose, I don't think. That would be kind of foolish. Actually, very foolish. But there is the slim odds that we get some sort of weird teleport, like telepills. And then we get teleported to a glitch room, which doesn't allow us to escape, except by going down to the next floor. And it's the whole big thing that we really don't want to partake in. 
Now you get to a bit of an interesting question though. Is, is it worth it to head back to the shop? Now that I have enough money to potentially get something nice out of it. I think you probably do. It'll make me do a few couple extra rooms here. But, in the grand scheme of things, I think it's more likely to be worth it than not. Especially if I can get like a spirit heart for sale or something. Uh, especially now, yeah, with that uh, nickel kind of seals the deal for me. Because I can get an item and a spirit heart and win, hopefully. I said that a little bit trepidatiously, but, uh, you know. Alright, so we want to head up. I'm going to just go ahead and actually bomb my way through here to make this trick a little bit faster. Self-sacrifice room is uh, not interesting to me on this run, that's for damn sure. I could theoretically use that to go and fight the lamb if I really was feeling cocky. But I'm not. Not so not super confident in this run. I'm not even confident in my ability to beat mom on this run. If you want to know the full truth. <laughs> but we're going to try, goddammit. We are going to try. I mean, the good thing about the mom fight is that she, she does spawn a lot of enemies. Uh, this is nice, actually. Hold on, I'm going to head here to like reset the timer on that purple fire so it doesn't shoot me. And then just do that, and hopefully get some spirit hearts out of this. Uh, maybe not, though. Uh, ooh, the jar. Um, oddly enough, the jar is actually pretty good here. I did not even really think about that, but yeah, that works out nicely. Uh, I'm going to bomb this guy so we can buy this card here. Ace of Clubs is not really worth anything to me. But why is the jar good? It's because we have all these hearts on the ground here that I can now collect in the jar. Uh, this is the wrong way to go, but it's okay. Probably we don't take too much damage here. We'll be... We'll be fine. It's a pretty shitty room, but... Alright, we got this, I think. There we go. Alright, now let's go back the actual way we came. But yeah, thanks to Gimpy having dropped all these hearts on the ground, we can take these hearts into the mom fight, drop them on the ground so that we have them there for some nice HP recovery, and suddenly I'm feeling much, much more confident in my ability to actually handle this run. Never have I ever thought that the jar would be one of the items that uh, helps to save a run here, but it could. So we got three hearts, which is better than nothing. We're going to head into uh, the mom fight. We're going to pop the jar off and do our best. That's a super special rock right there. That's also really nice. Gives us some tinted rock or some spirit hearts to work with. So we have a lot of things going in our favor right now. What happened to all my hearts, by the way? Uh, oh, I'm picking them up with the jar. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. As long as they're not, like, just gone. That's the main thing right now. So if I start losing my red hearts, then I will uh, pop the jar and use it to its best effect there. I don't even know if I've ever picked up the jar in, like, any other video that I've done so far of this game. It's, like, usually so inconsequential. I don't know, maybe I have, but uh, I'm pretty sure I've at least seen it for sale and just been like, no, it's not worth it. As rarely is it ever worth it, you usually have a, a better spacebar item. Because there are so many better spacebar items that you could have. Gimpy is pulling it out. we got a whole suite of things working together in this in this run to make it uh, make it work out here. Rotten Babies putting in some good work. Uh, Head of the Keeper allowed us to buy the jar. Got the treasure map earlier. we got Guppy's Collar in case things go really, really wrong. Gimpy is kind of uh, kind of the play of the game right now. With all these red hearts and also the spirit hearts getting dropped on occasion. We should be more than fine to handle the rest of this mom fight. Especially with luck like that. Goddamn. So in the end, it looks like we will win this Waka Waka challenge. And I'm very thankful for that because it was one of the ones I was most worried about screwing up my uh, challenge streak here. Do I anticipate that I'm going to get through the entirety of the challenges without uh, without losing one? No. I think the odds of that are literally 0%. Because some of the challenges later on basically necessitate like resetting until you get a good run. We're going to try, though. We're going we're gonna to try and keep the streak alive as long as we can here. Believe you me. Mom is just about kicked to the bucket here. Didn't even need, didn't even have to worry about the uh, jar at all, thankfully. 
Uh, let's just check our deal with the devil, just cause. I was about to say, if that's if that's Krampus in there, then I'm gonna be about to be real mad, especially Krampus on a small room like that. Pick up our trophy and be done with this one. Not so bad. Death's Touch has appeared in the basement. That's so good. I love it. And that is Waka Waka for us. We are doing pretty well in these challenges. Uh, once we be beat the Family Man here, we can head back and do Challenge 11, I think, because that's the one that I believe unlocks the item we need to do that, so it's weird that way. At any rate, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and or comment down below. Really helps set the video and the channel. Uh, keeps me motivated to make more of these. I post a single Isaac video every day at noon mountain time as well, so keep your eyes peeled for the next one. That's going to be it for today, though, so thank you everyone so much for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you and good night.